Greetings to you all. My name is Job Tatenda Tendenezai, and today I am going to talk about our poster entitled Formation of Selenium Nanoparticles from the Reduction of Selenite by a Mixed Culture of Enterococci. Selenite is the most toxic selenium oxyanion, but it can be reduced to elemental selenium by various bacteria, including enterococci. The elemental selenium is reddish in color and it is in the form of nanoparticles. It is also relatively less toxic and less bioavailable compared to selenite. Of late, studies have been focusing on nanomaterials because of their unique physical and chemical properties which enable them to be used in various applications. An example would be that of selenium nanoparticles which can be used in the agricultural and medicinal fields. In this study, we used a mixed culture of enterococci to reduce different concentrations of selenite to elemental selenium. The reaction conditions were a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius, a starting pH of greater than 7, and a rotary speed of 120 rpm. Before the mixed culture was used in the aerobic bed setup, it was cultivated for 24 hours before being concentrated by centrifugation. The parameters which were monitored in the study were the selenite, the elemental selenium, and the glucose concentrations. Moreover, the pH and the ORRP were also monitored. SEM and TEM analysis were also done on enterococci cells which had been grown in the presence of selenite for 24 hours. Key results from this study indicate that over 90% reduction was achieved regardless of the selenite concentrations to be reduced. Moreover, all of the reduced selenite was able to be recovered as elemental selenium, indicating little to no volatilization. The glucose was also consumed throughout this process, indicating that it was used as a carbon source. The pH and the ORP also varied and they correlated to the selenite reduction. Last but not least, the SEM and TEM results indicated the location of electron-dense selenium nanoparticles, which were outside the enterococci cells. Conclusions which can be drawn from this study are that enterococci is suitable for reducing selenite to elemental selenium nanoparticles. Moreover, this indicates that bioreduction can be used as a potential way to synthesize selenium nanoparticles which can be used in various processes. I thank you.